From Tech TV, welcome to Panorama. I'm your hostess, Gada Hamadani. The academic demands increase with every year of high school. Even if the kids have made great strides in middle school, they know the work will get more challenging. At the same time, they are increasingly expected to self-advocate for what they need. Social situations can also be a source of stress for teens. To find out more and to shed light on a typical high school student day, I'd like to welcome my high school student, Anthony Davoud. Hi, Anthony. Hello, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm good. Uh, Anthony, could you please just give us a brief on yourself before we start uh, our questions? So I'm in grade 12 at mm -hmm. Philip Pettier Christian College. It's mm -hmm. a private school in Mississauga. Um, I've been at Philip Pettier Christian College for the past uh, year and a half. Mm -hmm. I made the transition from a Catholic school um, in second semester of grade 10 to um, Philip Pettier Christian College. Mm -hmm. um, it is a high school um, that I have loved attending and I will continue to love attending and I'll miss it when I graduate this year. Mm -hmm. um, I have a pretty good social life with my friends. Um, I work two jobs. I work at a private swim school in Mississauga. It's mm -hmm. called Making Waves and I also work for a political campaign in my writing, mm -hmm. um, Ghada Malik's campaign. Mm -hmm. um, all of this has uh, helped me become a better leader and has grown me as a person in school. Okay, so how do you find time? How do you manage your time? While you're doing two jobs, you have a schooling yeah. and you're in politics, so. How do I find time? Time mm -hmm. management is key to mm -hmm. being a successful high school student. Mm -hmm. um, you have to learn how to manage your time with your friends, manage mm -hmm. your time with your school studies, with you know, the jobs that you want to keep up. Um, it's been a learning curve for me, but I've definitely adjusted to it and I've become more accustomed to um, balancing it out. So how do you describe your life at school, at high school specifically? So th this year it varies. As mm -hmm. past few years it's been a full course load, which basically means I have four courses each semester. Mm -hmm. This year it's been a little bit different. Um, I have a uh, first period off and then I go to school around 10, 15 mm -hmm. for my classes, calculus, accounting and economics. Um, all my teachers are phenomenal, they are quite supportive, and I'm doing very well in all courses. Okay, have you chose the courses yourself or the family? There was a pressure from the family to what to study? Um, there was no pressure from the family. My mm -hmm. family is quite supportive in what I would like to study post-secondary. Um, I've known from a couple of years ago what I wanted to go into. I want to, I want to go into business. Mm -hmm. um, business is something that I really do enjoy, and taking accounting has really brought that to light. Mm -hmm. So what's a typical day at school for you? How do you describe that day? Typical uh, day? Typical day is yeah. pretty busy, pretty compact with lots of learning, lots of uh, mm -hmm. new ideas and concepts to be learn. To learn. Um, I go to school at 10, mm -hmm. uh, attend my calculus class. After that it's mm -hmm. a lunch, lunch break for about an hour or so. Mm -hmm. And then I go to accounting and economics. Uh, both of them are back to back and I end my day at around 3.15 and that's pretty much a day at school for me. Okay, so while your school is, you know, it's like it's a private school and uh, most, it's Coptic school, right? Yes. Okay, so what's the difference between, and you, were, you came from Catholic school, yes. you know. So what's the difference between, you know, it's like the Catholic, uh, Canadian Catholic yeah. school and the Coptic uh, So the Canadian school. Catholic school, yeah. it's um, one, it's a much bigger mm -hmm. school, with a lot mm -hmm. of more students. Um, Obviously, a lot more teachers because it's a lot more students. But um, with this co with the Coptic school that I do mm -hmm. attend, uh, it's a close knit family. We're all very close. Teachers mm -hmm. are quite supportive. They all uh, care to um, make you a better student. So mm -hmm. this, and we all considering it is a Coptic school. We do uh, have chapel every every Friday, mm -hmm. and we have a mass every month. Mm -hmm. um, this all helps us in our sp obviously in our spiritual life, and it also mm -hmm. helps us grow as uh, as people and students. Okay, so when you were at Catholic school, yeah. uh, have you received the same attention as you're receiving no. right now? No, the, I received I received right now more attention mm -hmm. at um, my private school, mm -hmm. for the reason being, yes, it is a smaller school, mm -hmm. um, and we are majority of the population is. 
um, Egyptian Coptic Orthodox. Mm -hmm. So we we know each we, we a lot of us know each other. Teachers mm -hmm. are much more um, hands on with the kids. Mm -hmm. Class sizes are obviously smaller, mm -hmm. um, which allows the teacher to um, help out the students in a more um, hands-on approach than I would be getting in a Catholic, Canadian Catholic school. Mm -hmm. uh, how about the curriculum? Like, is there a difference or is, you know, Canadian curriculum? It's the same. It's the same mm -hmm. curriculum. Mm -hmm. um, same math and science and biology and chemistry. All those are mm -hmm. the, are the same. Um, but again, it's just, it's just a smaller school, which just means that the teachers are closer to you and they just provide a more hands-on approach. Mm -hmm. to students. So when have you started to think about, you know, like, uh, about, you know, post-secondary education, your career? Was it that um, early? Well, I started, oh. I started thinking about it in grade nine. Mm -hmm. um, to me, it's quite a proactive approach to looking at it. Some kids don't really know what they want to go into right out the gate. Mm -hmm. um, but looking at it, I, looking, started, starting to look at programs and starting to look at what I wanted to go get into, um, starting grade nine was something that was very beneficial to me because I did end up making a change in what I would like to go into. Mm -hmm. um, business is something that I truly, truly do stride into wanting to go into. I really do flourish in, mm -hmm. in my accounting courses and my economics. Mm -hmm. um, I just find it, it's just very simple. It's, it's nice. I like, mm -hmm. what I, I like what I'm doing and I can definitely see myself doing that in the future. Okay. And how, are, how is your involvement in politics? So At this, this you know, young age. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So this year, um, uh, so I got involved with this campaign, mm -hmm. uh, Malik's uh, political campaign. Mm -hmm. um, it's in the Mississauga Streetsville riding. Mm -hmm. um, I live in the riding. It's mm -hmm. my first campaign to be working on and to mm -hmm. be working with. Uh, I've definitely enjoyed my experience doing a lot of different jobs, um, door to door canvassing, um, r managing some youth and. Uh, really training them to um, just really training more door-to-door -door canvas canvassers so we can grow our team. Mm -hmm. And you find time for politics while you're doing schooling? I do. Again, you know, it's like we ask the same question yeah. over and over. Yeah. Um, yeah. Finding time, I've always, I will always find time for things that I'm dedicated to. I'm definitely mm -hmm. dedicated to the campaign. I'm mm -hmm. definitely dedicated to my schoolwork. Mm -hmm. And I'm definitely dedicated to the pool, uh, to, the, to the swim mm -hmm. school. So balancing it out, uh, once when I'm dedicated to something, I will always find time to dedicate it to. So I've definitely balanced my schoolwork, mm -hmm. my the, the, my mm -hmm. job at the campaign, and my job at the swim school properly. Well, how people receives you at the door when you do canvassing for your candidate? Um, some people, uh, they there, there's obviously some... Because you're young, yeah. that's why. There are some different, um, view, there's some people view me differently. Mm -hmm. Oh, like you're involved at a young age. They're kind of shocked, but in a good way. Mm -hmm. um, I've gotten some responses and people saying it's great that we have young, um, young generation involved in this kind of stuff mm -hmm. now. It's very, very good and very, very enlightening. And so you kind of, and there's a certain advantage to that because I, I tend to see that some homeowners um, will give you more of a response when they do open the door. Mm -hmm. And the questions, like how do you handle the questions? Some of them, you know, it's like people are, you know, yeah. it's like adults, they know more, yeah. let's say. So how do you handle that um, part? I started really um, watching the news, um, mm -hmm. really like reading up on politics, keeping up with the latest um, headlines and, mm -hmm. and reports. Um, and that kind of just helped me become more comfortable and aware um, when people do ask me at the door some certain questions. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, Anthony, it's like uh, I would like you to tell me about other students. You know, it's like, uh, do you feel they are they are stressed? You know, at school, um, is thinking of the future. You know, it's like the financial. You have to get ready financially Definitely. for you know, it's like the yeah, yeah post secondary schools. So we heard about you. It's like mm -hmm. I would like to know. We'd like to know more about other students. Sure. How do you view them? Um, other students, there's. Obviously, it's a multicultural, diverse uh, mm -hmm. bo student body at PCC. Mm -hmm. um, some students, uh, they already know what they're going to go into straight out the gate from the start of high school. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of them would like to go into medicine, and they would like they already know the career path they want to take. Mm -hmm. And some of them are still figuring it out. So it does come when grade eleven does come around. Mm -hmm. There is some sort of um, stress that students do feel 
to a point because they feel like they have to decide mm -hmm. um, what they want to go into very quickly. Okay, and how about the financial support? You know, it's like, are students, you know, worried, you know, at this age? Right. About, you know, it's like, where are they going to get the support for their education? For sure. Or, yeah. So we, we all think about how we're going to pay for tuition and how mm -hmm. we're going to get to university and everything. Mm -hmm. um, but we all kind of, we call kind of just relax and just kind of go with, mm -hmm. go with the flow. Mm -hmm. um, we work so we can um, help out in paying the tuition. We obviously, our, our parents are, are mm -hmm. quite helpful in that situation also. Okay, you as students, you know, it's like, would you ever thought, you know, it's like, it's, you know, you wish that uh, the education would be for free, let's say, or, you know, it's like, with um, less you know, cost on you guys, or you don't, you don't talk about that at schools? Um, we don't really talk about that at school, but mm -hmm. I, have a, I have a different view on that. Mm -hmm. um, I think it would be nice maybe some, like, to have it subsidized somewhat, mm -hmm. um, but no, we don't really talk about that at school. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, Anthony, yeah. uh, thank you very much for coming today. But before we close, I would like you to say something to your teachers, friends, and family. Okay. Um, so I would like to say thank you to all of my family and friends um, and my school, Philip Atier Christian College. Uh, it's been a wonderful experience the past year and a half. You've been quite supportive to me and allowing me to fulfill my dreams and going into a business school program, hopefully, into the fall of 2020. And to my family and friends, thank you so much for being supportive and providing the support that I need. Okay, thank you very much, Anthony. Thank you so much. And to hope, you know, wish you all the best and hope to see you soon. Thank again. you so much. Thank you. Up until next time, have a good night.